Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 2nd, 2022. Well, today, I think probably the best way to describe today is it's going to be a hurry up and wait kind of day. And we had yesterday um, kind of a nasty little pump and dump. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Once again, I may have a little bit of a, a voice issue today. I've been struggling with this um, little fall cold. Um, so please forgive me if I sound a little bit off. If um, we take a look at these charts, a couple things I want to point out. Yesterday, we reacted, uh, we started to move up yesterday, and we reacted negatively eventually to this move. Now, one of the major things that I think that created that pump and dump yesterday is our job openings report came in much hotter than expected. And that throws into question this narrative that the Fed will soon back off and raise that uncertainty level. So um, all of a sudden, we pulled back pretty sharply. Now, keeping in mind, we've kind of got that double whammy of resistance up here that we need to be watching and paying attention to um, as we approach those numbers today. It certainly is um, a logical possibility if the Fed decides they're going to back off that we could push and rally through that resistance area of the chart. If they kind of stick to their guns, which there may be a possibility of that, then um, we we kind of have this big rally at stake here right now, and we could see um, some, some, some substantial selling if they were to continue to lean into the rate increases in fighting inflation. So let's take a look at um, our uh, technicals here in our chart. You can see here that we're up uh, there challenging that 200 day moving average as support. We've got resistance above with that 500 day moving average. And then of course, all of that price action, technical support and resistance in the chart that we've talked about. If we were to pull back, um, you know, yesterday was a pretty dramatic uh, whipsaw um, in the market. We pulled back to test that level of support in there. And if we see more bearish activity in here today, then I would look for this next support level lower um, if, if those bears were to engage. If that were to give up, then I think we really have that chance that we could drop significantly um, in the chart. And that would just be a pullback back toward that 50-day moving average. It would be a painful pullback, but a pullback toward that 50-day. Now, if we take a look at the SPY, we don't have nearly as much uh, dramatic pullback risk to deal with in the SPY. Um, clearly, we um, are extended, but you'll notice we, we popped our head into that price resistance at the gap up yesterday and um, ended up turning around on that job openings report. But all is not lost here at all. As a matter of fact, we continue to hold in that bullish trend. And if we can hold this price support, we're probably in pretty good shape. But a pullback in there, that might make um, those bulls sweat a little bit. If we were to pull back into that area, you can see that would be a fairly significant area of support. Um, however, I would say if that gives up, if we lose that level there, then I think the only uh, place we go is, is down here, which would be a, a pretty disappointing for those bulls out there for sure um, in the market. Now, keeping in mind, we are still overall in a pretty substantial downtrend here. So we're not out of the woods here on the SPY. Our technicals in the chart is just that pullback maybe to that 50-day moving average. And notice that we've got a little bit of a grouping here. We've got an 8 exponential or 34 exponential moving average right in here. A little bit of a grouping that could provide us a little bit of moving average support right in that area as well. Kind of all depends on um, how we react to that FOMC, whether that 
uh, proves to hold or fail. Um, we'll have to watch that close. Our uh, NASDAQ is even less of uh, of a danger for a major pullback, but it is certainly the weakest of the indexes here in the market. As you can see, we're a long ways from that longer term downtrend up there. And if you'll notice that yesterday we kind of popped up in here into some price resistance and it's a fairly strong price resistance. As you can see, we've tested this, uh, this price area multiple times and we're just struggling in this area. Now, unfortunately, yesterday QQQ finished a lot more bearish than the uh, other indexes in here with more of a bearish engulfing candle and we're much, much closer closer to maybe losing some price support and trend here in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. The NASDAQ has been struggling and we saw AMD kind of disappoint in their report yesterday. They, they came in okay on revenues, missed on, on their earnings. So you'll want to you'll want to keep an eye on that. Tech continues to struggle here quite a little bit in the market. And technically, if we look at our moving averages in here, you can see we still have that 50 day moving average above providing that resistance and unfortunately we even dropped below our 34 EMA here yesterday um, with that bearish engulfing candle left behind. If we take a look at our um, IWM, now IWM has been very strong and it ended up holding up probably better than any of the other indexes yesterday. It's been really kind of resilient and almost rather remarkable um, in, in the IWM. Now, IWM has had a, a past history of leading the market. So perhaps what we're seeing is, is maybe those small caps are starting to take over that role of leading and saying, we're willing to hold up strong. And uh, maybe that means we push up um, on higher here in the chart. So watch that downtrend resistance in the chart. And once again, we've kind of got that double whammy um, in here of a pretty substantial resistance area right through here, as you can see, um, that we may press up into that we'll have to keep a close eye on. Now, if those bears engage here um, on the day, um, with something coming from the F FOMC that the market doesn't like. If you'll notice in here, dragging this line around, there's probably a pretty substantial pullback that could occur um, in that chart to um, test some support levels here. So watch that closely. And if we find that bullish um, action in here. Well, I think maybe a press right up into this level would be logical um, in that chart. So watch that close. Now our technicals here on this chart, that pullback would bring us back toward that 50 day moving average. And you can see the logic of that. We may just pop our head into that 200 day moving average um, and find a little bit of pressure to pull back um, uh, in that chart. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now, it's interesting to me that yesterday we had that pop and drop and all that moving around, but you'll notice here in the VIX, there was almost no change. We um, really didn't respond um, at all. There's so much hope and hype on this narrative that, that the Fed is going to back off. Now, Please keep in mind that backing off doesn't mean that they're going to change the rates. It means that they may slow the roll on how they increase those rates, but they're going to hold those rates high for probably a longer period of time. Um, so it's interesting to me that this is a, another time that we've bought the narrative that they're going to suddenly shift um, direction and back off here. And I, I brought up something in right way options yesterday that I think should be considered. You know, if they were going to back off, if they were going to back off, it would kind of make sense that they would back off ahead of the, um, the midterm elections to try and kind of help out their bosses here a little bit. And they really haven't done that. So um, what would be the, the, the motive to back off, particularly when we saw the core PCE number, that's their favorite metric for inflation. It actually increased this last month. Um, so there may not be 
um, that reason to act aggressively in backing off just yet because we're seeing energy prices, rent prices, and food prices continue to go up. And I think there is that possibility. Our next um, inflationary number could be higher as a result of that. So um, it all depends on how the Fed decides to deal with this, um, how that could move around. But let's keep an eye on this area right in here. Remember that 25 area in the chart is a very big area of price support or resistance. So watch that closely. Now, if the bears engage, we do have some nice resistance here in this chart above. So if the bears were really to start pushing, we've got some area up here that we could provide some resistance here in the VIX. If the bulls really get moving and we break that 25 handle down in, in here of support, then look right on down into these levels here, which would be pretty remarkable considering the condition of our of our economies around the world that we would give up um, any fear on those weakening economies that we see in all of our economic numbers. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 indicator continues to stay elevated and what we saw yesterday at the gap up open, we were pretty much pinned clear up here at the top of the range. We were only about 50 cents away from um, 100 um, on that. And you can see no matter how many times we've pressed up in here at these levels, um, we eventually get a pullback. Now we can linger here, just like we've done right over here. We lingered in this area, we can linger in this area. But I do wanna point out the fact that when we linger here, sometimes that snap can be pretty uncomfortable when it pulls back. And we can also um, experience some of these pretty big whipsaws in price. Um, if we linger in that area. So watch that closely. We're up here pretty elevated, that possibility that um, that could occur. Now, if the bullish action comes in, just remember, we may not have a whole lot of room for that upside move in here on um, T2122. But if those bears were to really engage, if they get disappointed, you can see it could be a painful pullback. So just be prepared for that possibility. I'm not saying that that's going to occur. Just make sure you're prepared in case that does um, come around here today. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 held in there really nice and strong yesterday. It didn't really pull back much, just kind of rested in here. You will kind of want to make note that we're up here pretty elevated with these peaks in the chart. We have broken that major downtrend. So keep an eye on that. We've got quite a little bit of resistance in here and we shouldn't be surprised if we get a little rest or pullback in the market. Um, but we've got a lot of emotion built into this day. So I think anything is possible. If we were to take a look at our T2107, same thing. They held up really well in here. 37%, uh, almost 38% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. Notice that we're poked back up here, all of these peaks in this area. That could be a little bit of price resistance, but we have broken that longer term trend. We are extended in the short term. So couldn't be all that big of a surprise if we pull back or shouldn't be all that big a surprise if we pull back. And it's really going to depend on how we react to that FOMC data. If we take a look at our uh, T2101, our momentum, well, we hooked over just a little bit yesterday. And that shouldn't be a surprise because everyone was just kind of in the wait and see mode for the FOMC. So we kind of lost a little bit of momentum there um, yesterday. We do have these resistance levels in the chart that we'll want to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at our... Um, um, economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar, we've got a few things on here um, despite, uh, besides the FOMC that could create some price reactions in the market. First off, we're going to have motor vehicle sales. We've got the mortgage applications, which have not been very bullish for us for some time now. Then we're going to get the ADP numbers. Now the ADP has shifted their calculation. Hopefully they'll start being a little bit more accurate on those payroll numbers um, but keep an eye on that one here this morning 
as you can see, we've got um, a treasury refunding announcement that'll be out here before the bell. Um, I doubt that has any kind of impact on the market, but you never know the way the market's been acting. And then we've got our petroleum status, and then of course the FOMC statement, and then the presser. So when these go off, we can expect some pretty substantial whipsaws in price action. Um, could be bullish or bearish. Your guess is as good as mine. So watch that closely. And it's possible, very possible, once we kind of get through the hype of the morning and, and through some of the earnings reports that could create quite a little bit of volatility, in the morning then kind of expect we kind of die on the vine and just get really really light and choppy as we wait for the news of the afternoon that could move us a bunch keeping in mind as we move forward i wish we could just kind of say okay that's the that's the it for the week but unfortunately not the case we've got a busy day tomorrow on our economic calendar and our earnings um I think there's over 350 companies expected to report on Thursday. So, boy, we're going to ramp that up pretty hard. And then, of course, that employment situation number coming on Friday. So um, we're not done with this week and the wild volatility that could ensue from these reports. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, keeping in mind, guys, this earnings calendar, it's really ramping up a lot of numbers. I can't cover all of the notables for today. So make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that list of notables that I've placed out there for today. And you can um, uh, run through those. Um, so let me let me give you um, a few of the highlights we're going to hear from um, uh, BK. KNG uh, bookings. Um, travel has been one of those things that's been perking up here quite a lot. Notice that we're running into some downtrend resistance in the chart, so this could be an important report. Keep an eye on that. It looks like it's pulling back a little bit from that shooting star from yesterday. Um, take a look at um, CVS. One of the things we have certainly seen is um, our energy, um, uh, excuse me, our um, um, drug um, and um, uh, consumer stocks have been rallying up here quite a bit recently, moving to the upside. But as you can see, running into some price resistance, looks like the pre-market activity in that chart is pretty dramatic. A lot of whipsaw in that pre-market activity. So keep an eye on that. Um, uh, we may come in or open underneath this downtrend, but there uh, apparently was some energy in that report this morning. We're going to hear from eBay um, this afternoon. You'll want to keep an eye on that. We've got Fastly. Whoops. There we go. Fastly will be reporting. This has been in a real ugly downtrend, um, but recently, uh, you know, ramping up toward the earnings report. So watch that closely. We've got uh, Generac. Uh, we've got uh, Twinkie um, that will be reporting today. We've got Roku um, that will be um, in here. We're going to hear from um, MRO, some of those oil and gas numbers that have been extremely strong. Keep an eye on that. And Qualcomm um, will be an important one for this afternoon. So once again, if you want to catch that full list of notables, please make sure you click the, the link just below the title of the video to go back to the morning blog. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Uh, but before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, then please do me that favor by clicking that subscribe button on YouTube and also clicking the bell icon um, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be worthy of, um, of supporting and helping your um, trading for the day and preparing for the day, if you could do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and just leave a brief comment. It doesn't have to be, I mean, feel free to leave any comment that you'd like, but a brief comment is all that needs to be done to show the engagement 
engagement with the video and that helps the channel to continue to grow and thank you so much who continues to do for everyone who continues to do that let's take a quick peek at um, some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and realizing that there's going to be a lot of volatility today and and truly anything is possible now i'm going to bring up this um, the us dollar here again in uup yesterday when we opened the market day we gapped down and in that gap down we saw that market pop we have a strong correlation right now with the fluctuating uh, currencies out there in the market so in that gap down um, the market gapped up substantially and then we reversed all of a sudden we saw bond rates going right back up uh, bond yields going right back up and that dollar recovered but in that process of that whipping around here we had quite a little bit of movement in some of the commodity rate related stocks that I continue to talk about one of those being like energy and I think we're going to have to really keep a close eye on this energy has been very very strong now I have a buy Bias in this trade to give you um, the uh, you know my entire position here I'm long in this trade um, um, since um, let's see I want to say you know, I'm long in this trade from that candle there and um, you know this has just performed extremely well and I'm actually short the the 93 contract here um for a covered call position um on this it's a synthetic covered call position but a covered call position all the same um up extremely well in this chart and i gotta tell you with the earnings and the numbers that we we might see in the petroleum status today just keep a close eye on this and if we see the dollar weaken i would expect oil and gas prices to move higher that's a typical thing and we also saw yesterday we saw a big bounce in gold gold futures popped hard yesterday back up wow big i don't know what's going on in the pre-market here could be a bad tick in there but um popped up hard yesterday hasn't broken that downtrend it's not ready not ready to be a buy yet but keep an eye on that if the dollar falls gold should rally silver um, had the biggest move silver popped substantially yesterday popping and ended up pulling back at the end of the day but um, you'll want to take note that silver may be trying to break this downtrend here in the chart so keep an eye on that if we can uh, get up here and hold there may be some opportunities coming in silver if this starts to to weaken and move to the downside another place that you might want to look if that dollar weakens and this is something Thing I have a bias on as well because I'm holding this um, I'm holding a position here in TLT TLT has seen some um, amazing inflows um, into that chart expecting those bond yields to start pulling back and providing um, the banking institutions a better opportunity than the reverse repo to secure their uh, secure their capital so kind of keep an eye on that if this were to break that downtrend and hold um, I think there may be some opportunities um, in TLT that could be coming along now barring that other places take a look at oil refining take a look at Valero in here very nice chart as you guys know I talked about this yesterday that looking very good could possibly pop out of that little resistance area and move on through to the upside CRM is one that I continue to watch in here CRM I've got a price alert on this chart and you can see we hopped and popped or popped and dumped yesterday with that move so I think this is still in that consolidating mode and still setting up for a potential trade um, I've been watching Nike here um, a, a bit um, Nike has setting up breaking through that little resistance area in the chart breaking through the downtrend so there are some long stocks there are some short stocks to be watching here in the market just be really careful with the volatility of the day maybe doing a little bit more standing on the sidelines 
um, rather than rushing into trades um, with all of this craziness going on today, all this uncertainty. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I apologize this video got a little bit long. I want to wish you all the very, very best and hope you have a profitable day in the market. Take care and we'll talk to you soon.